What have you done, Fader? The free Steam demo. Is it fun to play? An atrocious scandal threatens the Catholic Church when the lifeless body of a woman is discovered in the rectory of a young priest. Lust, wrath, murder, despair. Can you weather the sins of the night until the morning confession? Yeah, guys. This is the story of this new free Steam demo. And the publisher is Darkania Works. So... Um, It's a first-person psychological adventure. I have no sins to confess. I've come here to speak the truth. My conscience is as clear as a child's. I have been framed and almost driven to insanity. I am resolute in my faith. Oh Lord, that cursed day, it began like any other. Nothing could have predicted the horrifying events that would unfold later that night. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but... Hello? Hello. Is this Father Matthias? Yes, speaking. How may I assist you? This is Marina Constanza. I'm a member of your parish, though I think it's unlikely you know me. I'm not much of a churchgoer. Oh, it may seem weird for me to come out of nowhere and ask for your help. I'm not even a good Christian. Banish the thought. God, in his infinite mercy, takes care of all his children. But please, tell me more about what's troubling you. <sighs> Thank you, Father. You're too kind, but I'd rather not talk on the phone about my situation. I'd like to meet you in person if possible. It is a, well, a delicate matter. Can I come by? I live not far from there. Well, certainly. I've just finished my prayers and I'm about to prepare some tea. Do you have any preferences? You're too kind. A cup of strawberry tea would be lovely. Right, then I'll be expecting you. If I'm not available, Felix, one of my students, will assist you until I return. Thank you. I'll see you soon. God bless, and be safe on your way here. I recall it well. It was a few days before Christmas, just after Vespers. The distant sound of the organ in the nearby chapel filled the air as I readied myself to meet Lady Marina. So yeah, it's uh, some sort of uh, religious horror walking simulator with a priest. Um, the game difficulty, I would say it's uh, quite easy because uh, you just need to find some clues and 
to solve the different step of the different mission. It's a single player only game. And there are quite a lot of uh, dialogues. The presentation is very good, so it's introducing uh, really well the game. Uh, there is a, a good immersion there, even if the start is uh, really slow, so you need to, to keep going, otherwise you will miss uh, the main intrigue. So there is no necessarily a dialogue, so you have to read from time to time. You can pause if you want to read. This is one of the, the guys that is living in this uh, strange house. <laughs> The other one only boys. <laughs> For the moment, yeah, the dialogues could be a bit shorten it because uh, sometimes it's a bit too much So the first mission is not that exciting, you need to prepare some strawberry tea for this uh, marina girl. So we'll try to find everything. You need to use this. Search the house for everything. This lighter. You can listen to the radio. Disturbing surge in violent crimes. Extensive research has been conducted to shed light on this disconcerting reality. While we may express our concerns and diligently prosecute the perpetrators, the justice system is actively seeking innovative approaches to prevent these violent That's acts the pot for the tea. The That's the strawberry the tea. A significant majority of criminals bear the weight Here we are. The past, we can make it. Belief that they possess the upper hand and the right to seek revenge against those they perceive as weaker. Moreover, okay. research highlights a lack of moral compass among the younger generation, which could be a key contributing factor to the increase in violent crime. So the the Many graphics, even if it's not really my style, this, this type of house, the very Catholic style, um, 
are really, really well done. So it's uh, really good for the immersion. A lot of effort has been put in it. Maybe a little too much details. Um, the animation are, are very simple, but it works. And uh, it's really well made during the interesting cutscenes. Uh, the sound and effects are, are quite good. There is a nice music and nice sound effect. And the voice are not all, always there, but when they are present, it's uh, quite nice. Yeah. I will take this to progress in the mission. So the, the sound are very immersive, so it's really good for this game. Good evening. My name is Marina. We talked earlier on the phone. Good evening, and God bless. I am Father Matthias Martin, at your service. So we have received this nice lady that has some question that need to explain our feelings to the priest. Um, the controls in this game are very simple, so it's only clicking and moving, so it's uh, you can either play with the keyboard and, or the gamepad. Would uh, rather use the the keyboard here. Yeah, there is not a lot of option. You have to use all the possibilities, so that's why it's a bit too easy for me. Oh my, such a lovely place. I always wondered how priests live, all by themselves. Must be terribly lonely. Yeah, there is some love in the air. Will the priest resist or not? You will see it. You know, this is a, a delicate situation. I'm considering your feelings, and I don't want to be callous, but it's just not. What can I say? I'm not good at discussing romantic love between a man and a woman. I can preach to you about the love of God. I understand, Father. I understand. Oh, I feel so naive. I shouldn't have come here. I'm the only one to blame for this embarrassment. You shouldn't talk like that. There's no shame in loving someone. But not like this. We can still be friends in Christ. Oh, spare me that talk. I don't need a sermon. Pour me a glass of wine and I'll be on my way. So, I will let you finish uh, this mission to see if the priest has resisted or not to this uh, really nice lady. So, in terms of uh, game length, I think uh, this demo is enough to test the game 
and uh, as it is not yet released it's a bit hard to tell if it's a, a very long game or a very short one however the story seems to be inter interesting enough to play it for a few hours in terms of game fun and interest the beginning like you have seen is a bit slow so you may st stop before it starts really to be interesting however if you continue there is uh, some good fun here especially if you like the story the gameplay is a bit too simple to be interesting so uh, again it's just uh, the type of game if you are really uh, immersed in the story the realization and the idea on this uh, Catholic perversion are quite interesting so for me it's a, a good free demo to play and to try so try it guys and put your comments